Thank you, JR. And thank you for those kind words about me, but, uh, I, but I really do appreciate the good words you talked about the College of Business and Economics and what we try to do in terms of transforming lives of our students. So good afternoon. Congratulations to the College of Business and Economics on your 50th anniversary. What a golden moment, truly. As JR said, wish we could all be together in person celebrating this very, very remarkable milestone. But as you are well aware, COVID-19 has changed our world forever in a way that uh, nobody ever imagined when we turned the calendar into 2020. But I am so proud of the transformation that the college has gone through and how much it has grown and changed over the last 50 years. So let me give you a little bit about the past. In 1959, 400 students in total, 100 full-time students, started attending classes at State College of Alameda County and so that was the total enrollment at that time. In 2020, there are 3,294 students enrolled just in the College of Business and Economics. What a remarkable change. The Division of Business and Economics started out offering five courses. Today, the College of Business and Economics offers 11 undergraduate and 10 graduate programs and concentrations. And Dean George Lowe, whom you will shortly meet in the, is the ninth Dean in the illustrious history of the College of Business and Economics. And I have had the honor and pleasure of meeting and or working with five of the college deans. Many of our alumni were drawn to our university because of the outstanding reputation of our business programs. Our business grads have made exceptional contributions to the economic vitality of the Bay Area and beyond. And I have had, as president, had had good fortune to meet a number of them and have been very impressed by their successes, but also by their humility, humanitarianism, and how they are good and likable people, like JR and others. They never forgot where they came from, many with coming from very humble backgrounds. They struggled and worked hard to be successful at our university and throughout their careers and lives. You have met one of these, J.R. Haviland, and you'll meet some others today as well. I admire and respect all of them for their accomplishments, but I also like them as well. And today, business and continues to be one of the university's most popular majors on our campus. In our recent 40 Under 40 Awards program, where we recognize young alumni who have made significant contributions toward uplifting their communities, 35% of the awardees came from the College of Business and Economics. I wanna just tell you about two examples of the people that represented the college in our 40 Under 40. Eric Law, is second generation Chinese and first male in his family to graduate. He is currently a senior vice president for Bank of the West, responsible for market growth in San Francisco. In his spare time, he advocates for the Asian American community, including the Asian Health Services in Chinese Real Estate Associate of America. Another alum that was honored, Michelle Schumeister. She pursued a career in the tech industry and is currently a planning manager at Facebook. By age 30, she bought her first apartment complex and started a property management firm. She also went on to start an apiary skincare company dedicated to clean, organic, and effective skincare. And she contributes to the bee cause movement through bee conservation and education. Good two of the examples of remarkable people that graduated from the College of Business and Economics. So I wanna thank everybody who has played a role in getting us where we are today. The students, our faculty, our staff, our alumni, our donors, our emeriti, and friends of the college. You are all are a part of this very amazing legacy. So onwards to the next 50 years, please enjoy the rest of the program and the weekend. Thank you.